So in today's video, we will be answering the question, how should a Christian respond biblically to political issues? So when you find yourself in the middle of a political dilemma, there are some biblical truths that you must remember. And truth number one is, God wants our trust. Isaiah 40, 15 reads, Behold, the nations are as a drop in a bucket and are counted as the small dust on the scales. Look, he lifts up the aisles as a very little thing. You see, this verse explains that nations are like a single drop of water in a bucket in comparison to God. Now, I want you to think of what comprises a nation. Their people, land, culture, their ideas, finances, religions, their governments, hierarchies, architecture, resources, all of it are like a drop of water that you wouldn't think twice about. You see, God is strong enough to create the universe with its millions of galaxies, with their solar system, stars, planets, is wise enough to understand that everything good or bad is happening for a reason. And on top of all of that, is loving enough to die on the cross for us. God is strong, wise, loving, and he knows what's going to happen. So please know that when things get crazy in politics, God is in control. So our trust shouldn't be placed in elections or in particular outcomes, but in Jesus, whose love and strength never changes. So truth number one is God wants our trust. And our next truth is God wants us to pray for leaders. First Timothy chapter two, verses one to two reads, Therefore, I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. You see, one reason why some crazy things happen in the world is because people are responsible for these crazy things. And God wants us to pray for those people. So when it comes to your president or prime minister, your governor, mayor, senator, you should be praying for them, not slandering them every chance you get. Daniel 2, 20 to 21 also reads, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. So every king or leader is only there because God raises them up for a particular purpose and will later remove them from their position. All of this to say, one way you can express your trust in God and your obedience to God is to pray for the people that are in charge, regardless if you agree with them. To pray for them not only allows you to bring the situation to God, but it also reminds you that while these people have power, God alone is the one that's in control. And now we have our final point. God wants us to represent him well. I think that it's pretty easy to go with the flow and stand in the middle when it comes to forming an opinion about tough topics like mask mandates, vaccine requirements, abortion, same-sex marriage, and other social justice issues. But it's our duty to discern how God would think of these matters. Ephesians 5.17 reads, Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. This verse tells us that we need to understand what God wants in certain circumstances. And I believe that God has the facts on certain political issues. Ephesians 5.8-11 also reads, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruits of the Spirit is all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Finding out what is acceptable to the Lord and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Looking at this verse, how can we be children of light if we aren't discerning what's right and wrong from the Lord's standards. Ask yourself these questions. Do your political beliefs represent God? Are they right? And what verse is your basis? Don't just believe whatever you hear and don't just take the opinion of your friends and family. Think seriously. Do your beliefs reflect God's love, justice, and character? Now, this might take some research and some time, but please know that if you call yourself a Christian, you need to consider 
how you represent him. So, in conclusion, the goal of this video is not to persuade you to take any particular side, but to give you some space to help you make a decision. So, if you find yourself in the middle of a controversial political ordeal, take a step back, breathe, pray, and remember these three very important truths. God wants us to trust him. God wants us to pray for our leaders, and God wants us to represent him well. We hope this helps. We'll see you soon, and don't forget that Jesus loves you. God bless.